pregame.com. Welcome back to pregame.tv. We're going to break it down. Chuck's going to give you his summary of how what horses he's looking at. Uh, Chuck, I'll tell you at the end of the video how you can get Chuck's actual plays for Saturday. But Chuck, we talked all about the contenders. Put the pieces of the puzzle together for us. And, and I agree with you on your video as far as when you're betting horse racing, you got to go with value. That's how you make money betting the horses. And there's no question that California Chrome, the favorite in the race and deserves to be the favorite. But I'm with you, on uh, Marco, as far as I'm going to use California Chrome basically as an insurance policy. I'm going to take a shot with some other horses. But if California Chrome wins the race and the other horses that I, I'm hoping are going to be there, uh, I'll at least get my money back that I can be invest investing on some other horses. But I definitely think California Chrome, obviously a major player here, but this is a tough field. There's a lot of fresh horses in the race. This is a tougher field than the Preakness. And uh, I think it's also going to be a, a race where we don't see a lot of speed, even though speed doesn't always hold up in the Belmont. I think Sam Rat is a horse who's going to be right there when it's all said and done, because I think he'll get a lead. I don't think he's, he's going to be uh, pressured a lot. I think he'll get a pretty good pace. And this is a horse who has a lot of big heart. He has a big heart. He'll have something left in it. And then you're going to see California Chrome with uh, the Tonalist. You're going to see Wicked Strong. Those are the horses. I think they're all going to be there down the stretch. I'm not giving up on Ride on Curlin. I think he's in much tougher than he was at in the Preakness. But I still think for the exotics, this is a horse who could come come up the uh, up up the stretch. Also, uh, the horse number one medal count. So uh, it's going to be an interesting race. I think a lot of value here, Marco. And uh, I'm going to try to mix and match some and uh, make some money here. Absolutely. And speaking of value, whenever you've got a triple crown race, there's always extra people betting the race because it's an event. This year, there'll be even more because the triple crown people will be there wanting to watch history, tune in, go to the sports books and such to bet. And they're going to bet money. And some of these people, this is the only time of the year they bet horse racing. So there's a lot of dead money in the pool. And we've always talked about it. That's why there's so much value here, because unlike traditional sports betting where you're betting you against the house, you're not betting against the house here. You're betting against the rest of the people in that wagering pool. And the more dumb dead money in there, the better it is for the smart players. And we like to think we are the smart players. <laughs> Absolutely. So, and if you want to check out Chuck's actual plays, Check it out on Saturday. He'll have his package up at pregame.com. And just like I'm doing with my package, Chuck will have a baseball or two play in there for you, along with his actual betting strategies for Saturday's Belmont. Check that out, pregame.com. want to thank everyone that watched all of the videos throughout the Triple Crown. I want to thank Chuck Edel for coming in and doing the horse racing with us. Love talking horses, and I love talking horses with a guy that's kicked around the racetrack like you have, uh, both of us got horse racing backgrounds for sure uh, both from the actual ownership and uh, racing of horses and uh, people in the sport to just being general degenerates <laughs> that we are betting the horses so he's Chuck Edel and Marco D'Angelo thanks hope to see you guys in the winner circle good luck on Saturday